data tells, and stories sell. Welcome to your Money Monday. Welcome to session 271. You've heard me talk about this before. Data sells. What's that mean to you? We're in historically best real estate market ever, and you guys are not telling people about the data, the statistics of what's happening in the marketplace. Man, homes in our marketplace here are going 25% more than they were going July of last year. So do people know that out there? No, you need to share that data. So data tells and stories sell. Then tell those stories about the multiple offers you received on a property, the number of showings that were on it, the buyer that you actually you know, won to bid for against 27 other buyers. Tell those stories, those will sell, okay? Does that make sense? So data tells and stories sell. So are you telling a story and backing it with data? Or are you sharing and telling a story to go with it? Okay, consider those things right there. Really consider them. The five story opportunities that you need to share are right here. So get that success story out there and in your targeted audience's face. So number one, the story opportunities. Number one, every new listing, you need to share that with everyone out there, okay? That new listing, great opportunities to share. And what you did to Stage at home, get it ready, and prep it for market. Share that story. Number two, every buyer that you have for an area that you can't find a home for, share that story to that entire area of where your buyer is looking for and target it to that. Okay, make sense? Number three, every buyer that you lose an offer out with. You might think, oh, I'm losing offers. I don't have any story to tell. Sure you do. You need to go out and tell that story because that listing agent, I bet you 99% of the time, does not reach out to the public and say, hey, there's just six extra buyers on this property that lost out on it, and you know there's multiple offers on that. And you want to get that news out to people. So when your buyer loses on a, a property, go out and tell the story that they lost that one, and there's six other buyers, and that home got all that money for it in record market time. So every buyer that you lose out for, boom, listing attraction time. Think about it. Number four, every buyer that you win an offer with, okay? I just talked about that a little bit ago. When you win an offer against multiple offers, hello, there's all kinds of stories to tell, aren't there? So check it out and make sure you get those stories out there. And opportunity number five for stories, in my opinion, is every seller that you represented and sold. Get that story out there and tell how you sold that property. And again, all the showings, all the over full price offers, things like that. Do a letter from that seller of why they chose you as a realtor and the experience and the price that you got on that thing and everything and send it out to all the neighbors from the seller's address and have the seller sign it. So you write the letter and then you have the seller approve it put their signatures on that letter and you send out that letter, hand stamp envelope out to everyone in the neighborhood. And boom, what an opportunity that is for them to share the success story of how you sold their home. So those are the five great story opportunities that you need to share. So remember folks, data tells and story sell. So tell that story and back it with data. Are you telling the story and back it with data or are you sharing the data and telling a story to go with it. Those are my questions for you this week and get down on it. Actually utilize, tell the story, okay? Data tells and story sell. I hope you liked this video. The most important thing you can do is take action and really jump into those five story opportunities and use them every time. That's a huge part of your business. You'll boost it up, okay? So take some action out there and use that. I'm Rich Motts and I will see you Max Money Monday. Have a great day, everyone.